and welcome to Canon City Comic Club, a weekly examination of the most memorable storylines in comic books. I'm your host, Tristan Cooper, also known as the mayor of Canon City. <laughs> I am running unopposed in this election year. Uh, I am still somehow losing to a bodega cat in the polls. Uh, how about you, Andrew Bridgman? I just think that bodega cat's got a lot of good ideas, Tristan. I'm okay. sorry. Uh, hi, I'm Andrew Bridgman, and I'm voting for bodega cat. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, what say you, Carolyn Page? Hi. Um, I will not be running for mayor. I'm running for city comptroller uh-huh. and will also be voting for Bodega Cat. Wow. Wow. Uh, so the poll is not looking great. He's got a strong platform. Not system. looking great for me. There's just a... Plus there's that corruption scandal with you. Yeah, there you, is also Carol. that. You know what? I am also voting for Bodega <laughs> Cat, which is... Uh, which is weird. Uh, See, the thing is, you don't wear a, a mayor sash, and I just can't respect yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Bodega Cat does wear a mayor sash, mm-hmm. and also for some reason, a sheriff's badge. Wow. Yeah, I can't. He just beat respects that. both offices so yeah. much. We're getting so. we're getting way too too into politics, everyone. <laughs> this is uh, this is way too deep. We're here to talk about Supergirl uh, being super by jo- by uh, Mariko Tamaki, Joel Jones, and I believe colored by Kelly Fitzpatrick. And it is uh, a DC Comics uh, coming of age story uh, set outside of the normal DC Comics continuity, all about uh, sort of a uh, Kara Zor-El's uh, time uh, growing up in a Midvale, not Smallville, extremely different. So different. Uh, trials and tribulations with uh, very real life problems, very super problems. Um, and before we get into the, the nitty gritty. Um, I wanted to ask our guest, Carolyn, slash uh, almost like a regular cast member at this point. Uh, well, She's the comptroller. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, the comptroller. That's my official title. Please use it. Okay. Oh. Com- comptroller page. Uh, <laughs> Got a nice well, ring to it. What can you tell us? Uh, what was your impression of Supergirl going to this? Were you familiar with the character at all? Did you watch this TV show? That uh, kooky 80s movie? Um, I knew um, not very much about Supergirl. I knew Mm -hmm. she was from uh, Krypton, Mm -hmm. and I think the most I know about her is from uh, Injustice 2. Okay. Watching the Mm cutscenes of my partner play that Uh game, Uh which is fantastic. Sure. Um, So that was kind of my knowledge, uh, but it was always, I like going into stories like not knowing very Mm -hmm. much, because I think that's a really nice way Mm -hmm. to to do it. Sure. Also, the story's kind of a reset for her yes like, yeah it's very self-contained but, yeah. but it did make me want to read more i want to read the next ones for sure uh that's the funny thing with uh, supergirl <laughs> there's a lot even though this is a uh out of continuity reset it's maybe important to sort of uh look back and see like how this this book in particular is different than past supergirl so we're going to do something called mm. continuity catch-up which, uh, you know, we're just going like, to just sort of like re-explore the character before we get into the meat of the book. So the character was created about 20 years after uh, Superman uh, first hit the stands in 1959. They, they tested out a Supergirl comic. This is imaginary story. This is a superhero comics in the 50s. We're all like, <laughs> I don't know what if Superman uh, had uh, a special kryptonite that uh, made him a normie or this. <laughs> well, it was more like, like it made him like really fat all of a sudden or rainbow colored rainbow colored what if he shot little superman out of his hands yeah. <laughs> he definitely did that at one point really yeah. yeah there's like little superman like uh superman's bizarre new power it was all like this you Let's wrote talk an about article that. about that yeah about like the dumbest superman plots and it was very eye-opening yes i mean there's like it's this it's the silver age it's all all sorts of like kooky like one off it's all, it was like all what if stories it was a dream or like it was, didn't really count like <laughs> it got to the point where it, on the cover of these comics it would say not an imaginary story if they wanted you to know it was real <laughs> as opposed to all the other uh very uh non-fictional <laughs> stories this is why everyone was mad at Zack Snyder about his interpretation of superman is cuz he didn't shoot tiny superman out of his fingers yeah, yeah that could is... have had so many tiny henry cavills <laughs> just flying around mm-hmm. it would have been great and everyone yeah. would have loved batman v superman then yeah so um check out the i Snyder did love cut. i did love batman v superman the director's cut it's good okay we can talk do, about do, that do later tiny superman come out of his fingers no well I think Affleck gives good Batman. I love his take on it. Do tiny Afflecks come out of his fingers? <laughs> no. They should. They sh- 
This is, you're not selling me on this character. <laughs> yeah. Did they edit out the jar of piss? Is what I want to know. Um, I and her place with several smaller jars of piss. Don't know There's when is there a jar of jar. piss in, in the Batman Congress versus scene. Superman in the Congress scene? Like Lex delivers it to Granny's the Congresswoman. Tea. Um, oh and yeah. She's like, oh no, a giant jar of piss. It's like also it's way too yellow. Someone's not hydrated. Yeah. It's too much. Mm-hmm. No one person could have done that mm-hmm. all at once. <laughs> uh, it just opens up a lot of questions, and that's why Batman v Superman failed at the box office. Yeah, Because of a jar of piss? Because the piss wasn't properly explained. I see. That's the problem. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, that checks out. That... Well, you've made a good case, and now I hate the movie. Thank you. Yes. That's all I ask. Uh, <laughs> to hate I'm... things you previously enjoyed. <laughs> Again, getting very political here. <laughs> right? Uh, vis-a-vis the jars of piss. Uh, this is why I'm the only one not running for office because my opinions are too dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I can see that for sure. Um, there's no easy segue out of jars of piss, <laughs> but I will say that uh, once the the kind of typical uh, Supergirl origin story is that um, she is a fellow Kryptonian who uh, was uh, kind of bu- saved from destruction in the city of Kandor, which is a now a bottle city. A, a little bottle city that Brainiac saves. Uh, she was uh, shot out of there. Uh, depending on which origin story you, you you see, like she like ends up in the Phantom Zone for a while, and then she lands uh, in uh, in Smallville in Earth on Earth somewhere around there, uh, and as a like teenager. Yeah, she's probably. a little older. Wasn't she like sent to like be kind of like a guardian for Kal El? Yes, yes. Uh, well. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe no, I shouldn't be. I think that's the case in Supergirl. Interjecting in the Supergirl TV show. That's okay. And that that's how it is. And she's a teenager. She's like thirteen ish. Yeah. Uh, in the uh, comic, the original nineteen fifty nine comic, she's a little bit older, I think. Okay. Um, but forty eight. Sort of the, the Phantom Zone sort <laughs> of like Supergirl, but still <laughs> considered a girl. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, it was the fifties. So. Sure. That was just how things worked. Mm. Then. <laughs> to listen to it. Look, she was treated much better in the eighties when she just got murdered. She just got murdered. It was in crisis, crisis on infinite, right? Crisis on yeah. Infinite Earths. Uh, she sacrifices herself to save reality to save Superman, um, and then she's just like kind of like gone. This is Kara zor is just gone from a DC continuity for 20 years. Okay. And in the meantime, there are other Supergirls, but they're not Kryptonian because DC was like, we only want Superman to be the, he's the last Kryptonian. He's the last son of Krypton. He's the only Super Saiyan around. uh, Right. For sure. And uh, so there are other Supergirls in the mix. In the meantime, there's like a synthetic life form that merges with a human, Matrix. Venom? uh, (gasps) Venom Supergirl It is. Yeah. It is Venom. Um, and there was amalgam comics. I don't know. Yeah, she's a, she's eventually brought back, uh, and then her new Fifty Two reboot is like a little bit different in that she's uh, she arrives like again as a teenager, but like also like kind of kills people sometimes. Like just like has got to do it. Yeah, you got to do it. Sure, it's a it's a whole deal. <laughs> and then um, in this comic, the origin story is again kind of shifted and altered a little bit in previous comics uh superman is already established well established in this one he's not maybe we should just get get right into it because uh let's, let's get right into the book breakdown here so the story begins and we see that it's kind of familiar in that uh kara lands on earth but it seems as though she was almost smallville Instead of like say the TV show where Superman finds the pod and hands a Supergirl off to uh, some scientists that he knew, <laughs> he's like, "Oh, He's I, I got this pod. Yeah. Superman, you want to mess with it? Not a good dad. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Well, what's he gonna do? Like, it's his, it's his cousin. He's, he's, he's not gonna help here. out a little. You know, yeah, maybe. family. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so we we start the when we start the book uh, proper though, it's basically just Supergirl uh, as a teenager. And we get little flashbacks every once in a while to her pretty young, maybe like five or six mm-hmm. yeah. when she first lands. And she doesn't have any memories uh, prior to that. What a nightmare that would be, by the way. Like, Cal el at least had the advantage of being like an infant, like a baby baby, when he was shot across space in a pod, right. which is very cramped. I got to imagine. It doesn't mm-hmm. feel good in there. Mm-hmm. It's very scary. It's They're dark. They're in stasis, right? I don't know, man. Because when Tan on later on, uh, oh boy. goes goes through that, uh, talking about that process. He was like, it was a long trip. Like He was aware of how long it was. Mm-hmm. And so at least Superman didn't have to be aware of it. She was like five. 
She was perfectly aware of what was going on with her. Depending on, again, It would be at least a light year away to get to a galaxy. That's at least a year in a pod. Usually there's some suspended animation going on. or Yeah. I, I cryo sleep. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Listen, they were getting out. They're getting her out of there real quick. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Maybe okay, they didn't... shoving her out the door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm but saying it would not be a pleasant experience. She does not seem to have any memories of uh, her time before this, and sure. I don't think like even though it kind of comes back to her uh, during the story, she does not seem to know that she is an alien. She just knows that she is different. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the story is set in this like my what uh, viewers might know is my jam by this point, which is like slice of life superhero stuff. The superhero <laughs> in the off time, hey, of hanging out with friends at a diner. Uh, she's friends. Uh, her main her main posse is uh, Jan and Dolly. Yep. Uh, and and, and I kind of like their relationship. I kind of liked uh, them just like just yeah, hanging, they're hanging out. out. They're texting, and they the book does a really good job of like. Mimicking teen talk and teen texting, yeah, which, like not not in a way that's like perfect, but so much better than most people. Where it's like their slang is like fifty years behind everything else. You're like, man, that is whack, and it's like, no, they're oh. criminy. What a rad time. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I do find I, I I agree with you, and that made the the accuracy made the the couple tiny moments where that didn't line up made them really stick out to me. At one point. Uh, one of the uh, girls says interwebs yeah. out loud with without irony, I don't think. Listen, there's a couple like Juno-esque yeah, moments. Yeah, a little where bit. It's, you know, little like, bit. Uh, that's, it's trying a little too hard here. But for the most part, yeah. like the dialogue felt pretty natural, pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I liked it. I yeah. really liked the friendship story. Like mm-hmm. That's just something that's not portrayed a lot, mm-hmm. especially female friendship. Just like we're just, you know, Friends, and this is how we operate. Mm-hmm. And they... this book passes the shit out of the Bechdel test. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the first book we had that that passes the Bechdel oh, test. Oh, for sure. It's mm. been, that I've that I've been on for. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Mm. The Teen Titans. I'm sure. I have... missed that one. Don't please don't bring up <laughs> Teen Titans again. You guys didn't like Teen Titans? Uh, no. We had a oh, man. a spirited conversation. Was it just about the how Judas the Judas contract. contract title didn't make sense? I sent no. you guys that message. You did. It doesn't we make sense. You sent that message about the Judas contract in the middle of uh, our recording. Yeah, so. we didn't okay, well, see that. People till after. know the Judas contract title doesn't make sense. I'm not going to explain okay. that. Go okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Perfect. That's very extremely helpful. Um, That's so what I'm here for. What what I do what I do like is uh, all the depictions in this book of Supergirl using her powers in like a very bored, casual, teen way. She's had these powers for a long time, so she's going out uh, to the barn and helping her dad move a car. Mm-hmm. And while she's doing so, she's just kind of like looking at her fo- phone, very bored. Yeah. Um, her dad, who's like a pretty intense conspiracy theory. Her dad is Ron Swanson. Her yeah. dad is Ron Swanson. Her dad Swanson. is just Ron Swanson. Her mom is like a pretty like nice doting regular mother, but her dad is Ron Swanson. I liked the, I really liked the mom like seeing someone and the dad seeing like real bodied people mm-hmm. in comics oh, yeah. was really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also the mom's attitude of just like I don't know, she was such a mom. She was yeah, very mommy. Very she was, mommy. She was, I, I didn't mean that like mommy. Like mom, dash, momish, momish, yeah, mm-hmm. mom esque, mom esque, mom esque. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was very like doting and uh, you know understanding and mm-hmm. kind. It was like, oh, yeah, it's a good mom. The dad was a dick. No, dad, no, the dad he doesn't was celebrate nice. Birthdays, I and mean, he was he was he was a good dad, but uh, doesn't celebrate birthdays. Don't like mm-hmm. that. Celebrate yeah, celebrate a birthday. Yeah, wacky. Which was kind of nice, I guess, for Kara because she. Doesn't know when her birthday is, but they have her like pod day. Yeah, pod day. <laughs> I'm gonna start Happy celebrating pod my pod day. day to I you. should probably stop singing before YouTube. Birthdays gets us. are kind of like pod days because you, the amniotic sac is like a pod. Oh, when you, you're right. When you think about it, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you've traveled from people. your mother's womb to the outside world, much mm-hmm. like from Krypton to yep. Earth. And wow. if any viewers, if it, today is your pod day, then happy pod day. Happy pod day. That's what podcasts are, right? <gasps> Gasp! Okay, all right. Moving Every on. day is a pod day when you're on a podcast. We can't top that startling revelation. I do want to mention <laughs> another thing I, I, I really like in this book is the very early zit popping scene. No. Yes. Yes. It's good. So she finds out she has it's a little compelling. growth, no. right? She's she's going through a weird time. 
She has uh, she has a, a her changing body uh, is affecting her in, in unexpected ways as as it happens. And at one point uh, during the story, she tries to pop a zit, and because she is Supergirl, I guess it super explodes all over her bathroom, and so there's pus yeah. coating the wall. Being Kryptonian means you have more pus than more, most people. I That's was where conf- they get their powers from. I was confused about that scene. Like I thought, was that? J- for me, that was like a little Animaniacs. I was like, is this really happening or is this it's just so cool like because exaggerated like, for effect? Nothing like that happens in the rest of the book. There are no right? other things about like, like all of the like her changing mindset was because of the little like yes. thing on her wrist that's like zapping her powers or whatever. Right, right. And then there's this weird zit scene where she has right. extra pus and it's just like, it never is referenced it's, again. It never comes back. literally making me nauseous thinking about that panel. Listen, <laughs> it's so gross. as someone who was involved heavily in internet content for years, people love zits being popped. Could you imagine how much money she could make? Oh, she starts an popping, Instagram account? Popping her super zits. Oh Stop. my God. She could be We're moving on. a top level influencer. So about the coach, uh, I knew right away she was evil <laughs> because I don't know why. Like the, She was so friendly at first and then she was evil. Yeah, there's some like little foreshadowing. They like, they're focusing a little too much on this coach. Right? Yeah. yeah. This character is named, unlike, you know, unlike most of the characters. Uh, I know this person's name and about seven other people in the book. Well, here's my take. Like This story is... Um, it's about a woman who is uh, set with a lot of challenges and a lot of issues and a lot of problems, but she overcomes all that and she makes a lot of self sacrifices to do things for the greater good. I'm talking about Coach Stone. Okay, sure. Uh, wow. Trying yeah. to you know save the world, sure. trying to create renewable energy sources, and all she has to do is you know torture and kidnap two people. That's that's it. That's, it. Yeah. that's all she has to do. I mean, it's only two out and this, of like this, seven billion. These two rotten people mm. won't let her save the wow. world and create renewable energy sources. It just felt like her intentions were good, but her <laughs> methods, she like didn't explain it very well. No, it's a very weird method of like, well, I'm gonna get I'm gonna become a track coach, first of all. Uh and I, Yeah, how <laughs> like, did she find Kara? Do they have like a like a cryptone crypt? Don it seems like they can track them a little. Center. Uh, sensor. Like they can track their energy or something. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, but like, okay, she has to like get a degree, become a track coach. She has to get it like a teaching license. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know. Oh, they I could, don't know. They, I'm sure she's got like a secret government. They can fudge that. That's true. Also like, Lex Luthor, there, you don't probably. have yeah. to, you don't have to have a teaching license to be a coach. Like an after school coach. Like all of the coaches at my, my school were also like math teachers. Well, right. they weren't la di da. You went to a fancy school with <laughs> math teachers. <laughs> but, but that's because they were around. Basically, sure. They had to there, give them something to do. During yeah, the day. yeah. There was a there was <laughs> they an weren't an, good math teachers. There so. was an NFL player who was was uh, from my hometown, and when he came back at some point, I believe he just started like coaching the high school football team. I don't think he was a teacher. So I think also if you're in the NFL or if you have a teaching degree, those are the two, those are the two options. Mm-hmm. If you want to go like mm-hmm. to become like a track coach just to like keep tabs on this one person and like get her to wear a wristband and like, her friends, the friends, they, they didn't it's care a, about the friends though. Right. 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 But that was to kind of cover the tracks there. Yeah. Like, couldn't she have just kidnapped her though? Wouldn't that have been easier? I just feel like I would have taken off the wristband sooner. Yeah. Well, she does then. Like, and there's, there's nothing to stop her from taking off the wristband. It's not a very strong wristband. Yeah. She like, also keeps it on all the time. Well, the coach told her to. Right. Which yeah, is but like you're gonna very do, suspicious. Do it in the shower. Like, I don't know. Like, what if you just? Why wouldn't she just forget it? Like, I forget my ring at home a lot of times. It's like my fingers got too fat, so I can't take mine off. Wow. So. Okay. That's uh. It's interesting to know <laughs> so that. This that, is zapping that my happen. powers right now. Oh, okay. Like that's why I'm feeling old and fat all the time. That's that's is the reason of this. I'd be okay. super strong and cool. Is this like a subtle commentary on just marriage in general? No, it's just me. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's just me. Okay. It's just specifically. Your, your feeling anatomy. <laughs> yeah, I just am old and fat. So okay, that's that's just me. Don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, I tried to do like. 15 minutes of soul cycle like a week ago and my legs are still dead. So, it's not it's it's not good. And speaking of dead, hey, there's an earthquake at the track meet. Oh no. A lot Whoa. of people oh, no. die. Is everyone okay? No. Ugh. Several people die including No one close to Kara though, right? Well, well, at, she at has the, power. She could save all of her friends. Well, funny you mention that. She starts glowing yellow. <laughs> 
while while the uh, track meet is imploding on itself, well, and uh, she is unable to save one of her friends, one of her Jen, best friends, one of yeah. her BFFs, one of her, her had, one of her two who had, friends who had big dreams. Yeah, did like, she? They, they, yeah, she was gonna be a professional <laughs> track runner in like okay. the Olympics and stuff. Sure. Yeah, and, like, I was like the second they started going into that, I was like, oh no, <laughs> yeah. it's the exact scene from every movie where it's like, you know, I'm one day away from retirement. Uh, I got big dreams of things mm -hmm. I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. like, one oh. last job. <laughs> one last track meet. One last track meet. Then and it'll be set, and I'm out of this game. <laughs> you and me will be on a beach in Tijuana. <laughs> I am a little suspicious. They they do note that they never find Jen's body. Oh, yeah. So every single time you in any media when you see someone hanging off the edge of something yeah, yeah. and then they fall yeah. and you don't see the body yep. they will come back this is a law well, but of you think physics Gaston will come back i didn't see the body there yeah um, you yeah saw you've never and seen the beast 2 yeah, and a half the beastening oh wow no i guess i missed that <laughs> Gaston comes back as like a frankenstein okay uh, lefou's put him back together that's Wow. It's really dark. Yeah. That's, uh, that sounds excellent. And um, uh, I want to watch that right yep. now. That go, sounds Go perfect. watch it. <laughs> yep. Go watch it. Uh, so uh, <laughs> the re that next period of the book is it spends a surprising amount of time on uh, Kara's gr like, grief. Yeah, just like just bereavement. Like Her friend died. And like they handle it really well. Like the way her and Dolly text mm -hmm. about like. Yeah. Like it feels very real. Mm -hmm. It feels very painful. Yeah, they're uh, they're trying to cut the tension, but like it's like very awkward at the same time, and it feels like it kind of feels bad to like laugh and like feel nice, even though at, at any time, even though mm -hmm. your friend can never laugh or feel nice ever again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cried at my desk. Did you? Yeah, I cried at my desk, <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "This is happening." <laughs> I cried. At, I cried at my desk. Wow. I'm not ashamed of that. Well, in other in you other superhero be. comics, when people die, it's just like, well, obviously, it's a superhero comic. There has to be stakes. There has to be some sort of like catalyst, some sort of like action that kicks off the story, uh, or some sort of consequences for the story. And uh, in we saw in the Judas Contract when uh, <laughs> when uh, Tara dies, uh, they have a nice little funeral uh, for her. And then they just kind of move on. Then the book ends. That's the end. There, yep. There's no time spent Batman's on it. Batman's there in the daytime. Batman's there <laughs> in the daytime. Everyone's in full regalia or surrounding the grave yeah. on a grassy knoll. Very funny image. Uh, but uh, that is not the case here. Uh, they, they, they go to great lengths to make this feel like a very uh, human loss. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and during that whole time, uh, we see like Kara's trying to like get this out in some way, so she starts like just running herself. She tries to get it like a like a like the pus in a zit, you might say. Yes, I exactly. Believe <laughs> we moved on from this. No, I've no, got to circle back to it. She, oh, here's something that she speaking of busting out when she like punches through the roof of the barn. Like oh, yeah. you're gonna have to fix that. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's that's not cool. You, you just can't make punched your dad all on the do roof. That. No. Right. Like she probably knows it's like easy. She can. She can fix she it up seems real yeah. quick. Yeah. She can probably get yeah. on, up on the roof. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 I think that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and so, but yeah, I, I did enjoy like the the ways that she, we kind of see her use her powers in a way that like any normal teenager might oh. in that situation just to sort of like exert uh, that grief. Yeah, try to like, like was it, was it one panel where she like, just starts running and mm -hmm. just like starts going so fast because she just wants to like kind of get away from herself. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, and that reminded me of a time where I was in like college or something, and I was just like, having one of those moments where you, like you remember something like cringeworthy you did, mm -hmm. and I I just started like I, and I didn't realize it. And I was all you of mean sudden, bedtime. <laughs> I mean, I mean all times of the day. You know how all times of the day you're constantly focusing on the horrible, yes. embarrassing things you've done. Bedtime. Bedtime, Morning wake time, time, lunch time, daytime. It's lunch like, time's for lunch, actually. That's the it, one period of break I have. Whenever <laughs> you can put pizza on a bagel, that's when you can also cringe and feel bad about yourself. No, that that's that's the wonderful time. That's like a break you have. That's like lunch time. I'm just saying you can you can eat pizza on a bagel. What? Anytime. In the morning. <laughs> what is the jingle? Evening. What's it, the jingle? It's, pizza it's in gonna, the morning. Pizza in the evening. When there's pizza. pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. Exactly. Okay. Now I what? So, I'm following you. 
It's the I get the, that you're talking about pizza bagels. No, yeah, bagel bites. Are you unfamiliar with the uh, laws of when you can eat pizza on a bagel? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now you know. You can eat uh, pizza anytime as long as it, uh, is a, it is on a bagel, just like you can uh, feel terrible about yourself at any time. Guys, bagel bites still really good. Yeah. You had bagel bites recently? What? <laughs> Do you not, are you not aware of bagel I've bites? I've had bagel bites, but they're gross. What? Yeah, no. they're, pretty, they're pretty bad. I mean, you no. can have them. No. If should they you, were covered should you have them in anytime? hot sauce, then bagel I would bites, eat them. Bagel bites, Totina's party pizza, these are the only foods yep. worth having. Why yep. not just have, re- we live in New York City, why not just have regular pizza I'm for gonna, a dollar? <laughs> I'm going to walk outside like a chump mm-hmm. and go places? No. Sounds terrible. Also, not a bagel. We're in New York City. Bagels, pizza. What if they were combined? Not in a box, in a frozen box. In a box. frozen box. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's also Maybe New York. I've been, I've been eating them frozen oh, right out of the, the box. Problem. Maybe yeah. that's mm-hmm. why. Mm-hmm. No, they're an, they're an acquired taste. That's fair. Anyways, one time I, I, I sped really <laughs> fast because I was thinking of something stupid I did, okay. and a cop pulled me over and like, what are you doing? You're going 100 miles per hour. It was Indiana. There's no one sure. anywhere. And I was like, I, and I had just nothing. I had nothing. I was like, I, I don't know. And so I got a ticket. What? That's the end of the oh, story. Okay. Going fast is cathartic. I was not thinking about pizza, pizza bagels at the time. If uh, I had, then I would Well, that's fine. your big mistake. Yeah. Did you ever have a vision of your long-lost alien parents? And realize your true heritage as a Kryptonian. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. That is what happens in the comic. Oh yeah. Where? Yeah. Oh, I was, where, what we're talking to about today? We're about Barnes and her, her using her powers. Mm-hmm. At one point, she has a memory of saving her grandfather from a barn fire, and the oh. grandfather's like, "You got to get rid of that kid who <laughs> saved my life <laughs> just girl now." Ain't yeah. Right. Yeah, like who just saved me while mm-hmm. everyone else was like, "Ah, oh, the barn's on fire and Grandpa's dying." What, right. I guess we'll just stay out here. And that was a weird. That sucks. That was just so. I wish that grandpa had burned to death. Yeah, that is. He wasn't even like singed. A, that girl saved his ass so hard. Like a pizza bagel left too long in the toaster oven. No, man, they, when they're crispy, that's the best. I wish that grandpa had died. That is the kind of uh, memory that, as a child, that sticks with you. Yeah, when like, your grandpa's like, get rid of that alien saving child. Saving someone from a burning building right. and then having them overhearing them say, there's something wrong with you. I think that would stick. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just yeah. A, that's the kind of memory that Just a smidge. Well, it, it kind of speaks to the idea that she couldn't save her friend because she wasn't powerful enough. But uh, And she, so she well, feels terrible. And even though the, the one time that she did save her grandfather uh, and she did use her powers for good, even when she could use her powers, she was still... Uh, chastised and admonished for uh, mm-hmm. doing good, so she it feels like she can't uh, win in that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is I think what maybe draws her to uh, find someone else that can feel just like her. She feels these psychic impressions from uh, somewhere in Midvale Whoa. underground. She comes into Dun 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 Doctor Stone's lab, Doc Coach's Stone's lab, who Dr. is. Coach. Uh, Holding <laughs> a <laughs> holding a Kryptonian boy boy, he's a man. He's a man. He's like man. a scientist. He's okay. a baby faced man. Yeah, a well, baby he's like he's man. been kind of starved and tortured yes. for years, so he's uh, not, he's like a little gaunt. Gaunt baby faced <laughs> man. A, a yeah. fellow Kryptonian oh, uh, sick abs, scientist you know? <laughs> has been uh, held captive for years, kind of like being sapped of his energy. Yeah, I assume. Which you would want. I guess it has. They has sun lamps in that room, right? That makes sense. Well, he's being with held sun. with oh, yeah. uh, kryptonite. Uh, like, right. Okay. Like I'm things. just saying that that they need to extract the energy out of him, and uh, kryptonite like, process the yellow veins or something. Yeah, because he's sick. He's yeah. so cool looking. Maybe yeah. they have oh, a sunroof. Okay. In the lab. Yeah. Yeah. In the underground lab. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. A sun floor. Right. Sun, like they're also like stealing power from like a wristband. I don't know. Their technology sure. I seems. I thought that was a monitoring. But it also like stops device. her powers. Like when she glows yellow, it's because they're zapping her powers or something. Right. So she saves this man who yeah. is uh, we learn is tan on, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and Kryptonian scientist Kryp- does not know Krypton is gone. Does not know Krypton is gone, and she feels like instantly like attracted to him. Like instantly they're like. Caressing each other, it is very yeah. Twilight in that way. I guess yeah. she's they like she's our... like fifteen or sixteen or something. Yeah. That's not appropriate. They don't have our like puritanical roots, like where she... touch is demonized. Yeah, I... and like 
They're just like, oh, same and same. I think she might, but maybe he wouldn't, you know, because she grew up like, like as as a six, she's lived uh, probably twice as long as a human on Earth that she did as a Kryptonian, which she doesn't remember. Yeah. So, but so she's just being like a horny teen, which is, you know, what it happens. A th- horny teen. A horny teen. She's like, she's like, like, like holding on to him. His. He's. She's. She's like supporting his weight. He's weakened. Uh, I don't think she was a horny teen. She even in the in the comic, she's like, what am I doing? Like, I'm like a goofy girl in a movie. Like, she's, why am I in like in the this? comic? She's extremely hot, which is right. Yeah. She was yeah, like, she's, she's very she's pretty. Very Tan's pretty. good looking too. He's got those. Um, I can't say the word here, but you know those lines that go towards cut, the cut V. The cut V. There's I a knew term. Them as there's a, a term for Jesus lines. Oh, I, there's that's a, what you call them. Something gutters, and I'm not going to say the word. Cum gutters. Yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> that's that's the one. Wow. Hi, I'm cum gutters, oh, no. and I'm running for comptroller. We can't be monetized on YouTube now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're worth like past like the ten minute mark. Yeah, so they're not watching. They're not this watching deep. this part. It's fine. Cum gutters. He has his kids. Cum gutters. You call say them Jesus it, lines. Um, yeah, Jesus had cum gutters. I growing guess, up so. in. Uh, no, it doesn't matter at this Small point. town Colorado, we knew them as Jesus lines. Oh. In Indiana, we were just real godless people, I guess. Well. Anyways. <laughs> in, the, in the comic, like maybe maybe uh maybe I was misreading it, but it felt like she was instantly attracted and drawn to him. And they were drawn like. She was definitely very drawn close. to him because he was someone similar to her. They yeah, I didn't get a sexual vibe from them. I I don't know. I gotta like, Read the comic and decide for yourself. How horny is Supergirl? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Just that on a scale of one to ten. The, there is Let that. Let us sh- know in the comments. Oh no! Oh god! <sighs> All right. I regret nothing. All right. Nor should you. The important part to know here is that Tanon is bad. He's a bad man. No, yeah. he's he's like if you're tortured like that, you'd want to zap people. He goes out and zaps a human being on top of a mountain, and he's yeah. like, "Hey, this person's Those like, hey, stars weren't for him." Okay, he, he's like, "Hey, aren't these stars very nice?" And he's like, "No, <laughs> he, zaps, he zaps you. Okay, maybe that's into an extreme reaction. Yeah, no, it's right. just Midge. But All right. I thought as like as maybe he's just traumatized from being tortured for yeah, so he was long. Kept which in there for I, years, I like, guess he deserves to zap a few innocent people. He. <laughs> That's my take. This he, is why I can't run for office. Well, he doesn't know that he was, uh, that Krypton is gone because he's been under for so long and that also he uh, was sent to to Earth to sort of like study it for like- He was going to be like an ambassador or something. Kind yeah. Of, and, like, just he's to a study science, it. science so, man. Yeah. I thought he was going to study it to conquer. It was kind of like a, a Vegeta- Goku he was specifically kind of told thing. like not to interfere with their social systems okay. and stuff. He was yeah. like ambassadoring. He was and like they, a Star like, Trek guy. Yeah, he was like, oh, we'll be peaceful. But then they were like, well, we're going to capture you and torture you. Sure. Let me ask a question. Does Krypton have a history of, are they conquerors? Well, are they conquerors? I thought they were kind of like inhuman-y like science people. So they're there's just l- science nerds. There, there's a mil- yeah. there's a military branch that's Zod. Yeah, right. They're like there's basically it's like almost like humans and like there is like good humans and bad humans. But like they couldn't be that <laughs> imperial or anything because they don't, they're all centered on that one planet. Right. They're not like going off planet and conquering it really. Right. Otherwise, there'd be a bunch of Kryptonians left. Right. Yeah. Well, that would make sense. That would be weird. Yeah, they have, they're capable of sure. interstellar space travel. They're like, oh, the let's pods. stay on this collapsing planet. Let's yeah. not surely move off the there planet. must be other planets with Kryptonians. Yeah, like yeah, right somewhere in the storyline no, of totally. all this. Again, uh, everything comes back to Dragon Ball to Z. Yes. They eventually find other Saiyans who are exploring other planets at the time. Awesome. That the, the, the planet, the Saiyan planet, exploded, and just like uh, this, I think. He wants Tanon eventually says, like, I'm gonna conquer this planet and these pathetic people, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Uh and that is a very uh Goku Vegeta situation <laughs> as well. Uh Dragon Ball Z is, is just is just Superman. That's all it is, really. Uh wow. I haven't seen enough Dragon Ball Z to say that for sure. All I know about Dragon Ball Z is there is a like large pink man called Boo. Oh, who yeah. Wants to eat Majin candy. Boo, yeah. Who turns people into candy and then eats them. Oh. Okay, that makes more sense now. Yeah. That All makes right. a lot of sense. Why why go to the store and get my candy friend Dan. when you can just like make anyone on the street candy? It's much and easier. And then he turns into a child or something. Uh Kid Boo, yeah. I've mm-hmm. only seen Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. They don't even reveal like the whole alien thing in the original Dragon Ball, which is like that's wild. Because I'm fucking cool. <laughs> no bagel bites, all Dragon Ball. <laughs> wow. 
It's very, I don't think there's a large cross section of people who weren't super into Bagel Bites, but super into anime. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, you think those two go together pretty naturally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the story uh, progresses when uh, Coach Stone uh, kidnaps Dolly and just sort of like basically says, hey, su- uh, Supergirl or Kara, as she's known. She, well, I mean, the important part we haven't noted so far is that Kara is never in costume. In this whole book, no, she puts um, on the cape at the very end. She, she, yeah, and she still like has her backpack on. And stuff. Right, exactly. <laughs> but up to this point, like something I didn't even notice, like at the time, because she's using her powers to a regular degree. Uh, it's it's an origin story, but like the outfits in this story, so cool. Yeah. All the fashion, very. Good. Oh yeah, it made very me well want to wear like hoodies. All, all the all time. The hair looked cool. Yes. Everyone had great hair. Yes. Everyone had well, cool looks. Yeah, even when they were just wearing a hoodie, I was like, they look cool. That's, right? that's a good way to wear a hoodie. Yeah. That's like, something that I think Joel Jones, the artist, is like uh like an expert in. It's like really cool, flowing hair. Oh, dude, and like the it hair always was looks so good. It always looks so like, good. Kara and Dolly's hair is just like awesome every frame. Yeah. I'm and like, the, oh man, I wish I had good hair like that. <laughs> the perspectives and all the panels and how mm-hmm. she deals with depth and like mm-hmm. I was looking reading this comic made me want to look at her other art and it's all awesome yeah and just super cool and I can't wait to binge read all of her the stuff that she's worked on she I just want to ask her like, like for recommendations for stuff to wear I'm like just help right? me she's I don't know stylist. how to dress myself <laughs> if I'm not mistaken Make Joelle cool. Jones is the one who designed Catwoman's wedding dress recently yes. oh that was good that was a really good one had a little cat ears, which is like obviously, well, hey, P.S. I'm Catwoman. Everyone in these <laughs> pictures, but uh, it was still like extremely cool. Who designed Batman's dick? Uh, oh, I was wondering when we were when you were gonna bring. I gotta up dicks. come back to dicks at some point. There's I'm no sorry. dicks in this story, That's except for oh, Tanon. Point. There's Tanon. Okay, Tanon. Like Tanon's a dick. He's got the cum gutters, so at the bottom of that must be a dick. So probably yes. Maybe. Okay. We don't know much that, about Krypton. That makes dicks. sense. I, I think Kryptons procreate by just like looking in each other's eyes like real hard, and they're like, uh-huh. Wee. Science. Uh-huh. They're science. science. <laughs> well, that's that's, uh, that's ca- canonical as far as I I, I understand. Mm-hmm. Anyway, in this story, Supergirl gets herself up, gets captured by Coach Stone, then uh, Tanon comes in, just like murders everyone. Yeah, just like kills everyone except for Coach Stone. Except yeah. for Coach Stone, she lives. Her. She gets like pretty messed up. Yeah. Uh, the character's like, oh, you murdered them. The, like, military, like, bad guys who were torturing yeah. me. And, like, yeah. don't be mad about this. This is awesome. Yeah. They do deserve to die. They're torturing a child. R- well, a man, but. Right. Oh, well, no, no they're, they're torturing, torturing Kara at that they point. They kidnapped yeah, yeah. an innocent kid and they're torturing you. They, yeah, they be should chill die. With them dying. Coach Stone should have, they should have zapped her. They should have yeah. got her. But then he goes after. He goes after Dolly, Dolly. specifically because. Supergirl is when they're specifically to save her friend. He's like, I don't want you having these ties to the human world anymore. Yeah. Get rid of this so you can join me. We'll conquer the galaxy as uh, man and girl, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, so that's when he like holds her over like a cliff. And then she has the chance to save her friend again. And this time she does it. Spoilers. She did it! And then uh, Tanon just like kind of like. Flips out, tries to explode Midvale via uh, nuclear reaction or or, or whatnot. Uh, she Giants. uses her she uses her uh, cold breath powers to sort of like put it out. Yeah, I guess that she like didn't know she, she had doesn't really know or... she had. It's a lot of like latent memories from I think when she was a child like uh, that are coming back to her. And so uh, she wouldn't be able to do that in Krypton because there's a red sun. They couldn't have their powers there, right. Tristan. Right. I think so, it was just an instinct. She was like, you know. On it. Yeah, there wasn't like any like preview of that really, which is kind of a bummer. Like they didn't like hint at that earlier. So what I wish they would have done is had her have another zit and pop it to put out the fire, because that would have been a callback. <laughs> uh-huh. It would have been good, you know, bookending of the yeah, story. Yeah, no, that, that would have been really good. <laughs> she like, rubs some grease on herself real fast. Like, oh no, I need to create zits, and then just that. That's like teen uh teen hero squad and they just all use like their teen powers yes. there's like uh, awkward erection boy and the, he's just like so- the, fighting crime the, with his boner the, the puberty pods we'll the puberty pod the pub pods so anyways when dolly is that was a really tense moment when dolly was being dropped mm-hmm. yeah. and i was like I, that, I think that was one of the most tense moments. I was like, are they going to kill her? Like, is she going to no. lose two friends? No. She has to come back. She has to succeed. 
But there was too much invested in yeah. Dolly. They like yeah. made her such a good, uh, rich character. Sure. Yeah, she was really, she was really like, she had a lot of depth to her. Yeah. Um, and Tana does like hold Kara back for a long time before she's able to leap down and try to mm -hmm. save her. Sure. So I was like, ooh, sure. she's being held for a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if she's going to make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I'm really glad they didn't kill the, 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 the only gay girl in the book like that that would be like a terrible like indulgence in a in a pretty common and unfortunate trope yeah, that and happens Kara's only other friend yeah so but yeah that too that yeah. too but that that's sort of like yeah that's sort of thing that kind of pops up a lot uh it's a, like a TV, sure. it's a tv tropes page there's a whole rabbit hole to go down with that kind of thing but i'm glad they avoided it they do leave a lot of like like sort Ooh. of hooks in for what if she had saved her by popping a zit and creating like a goo like surface to like like lessen the fall. What if mm -hmm. that had happened? <laughs> I'm just mad the pus didn't come back. The pus yeah. should have come back, leave in the comments. What what along with how see, horny that might be Hello. in <laughs> that might be in a sequel because it seems like they're setting it up because Coach Stone is still around. She's like and disfigured. Up. And so disfigured. Yeah. So she's ready gonna to be, be you know, she's gonna be like she's gonna look really gnarly next time you see her. There's Tanon is still like kind of like out there somewhere. Yeah, right? he's fine. Uh, and then at the very end, like uh, Kara meets Supergirl, like basically on the, like like the last page of the book. It, Su oh, Superman, Superman meets yeah. Superman. Yeah, Kara yeah. meets Superman at the last page of the book because he's like a rumor basically at that point. He's like kind of like seen. He seems in, like, pretty fully formed. Some. See, so, yeah, he's like in like blurry he's photos. Little, he's like, like, hey, have you heard of this? Oh, no, no, hair thing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He's he's. Once you have that, you're Superman. You're he's the witch when the curl, a little curl thing, super little, curl, little, little, yeah. yeah, the little Kurt Swan uh, curly Q there, yeah, uh, yeah. But that uh, that's that's about where it ends, and I'm excited to see. Like I read that um, the the author and the artist, I think, have uh, ideas for the sequel, the follow up, which would be uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I think personally, because yeah. uh, I like this uh, little mini universe that they set up. I like the uh, the characters and this depiction of Supergirl. Um, it's nice to have something kind of like firm to hold on to when it comes to Supergirl because she's changed so much over the years. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, the one thing that I do think is kind of a bummer is like if this is a separate universe sure. and you know they don't have to worry about mainline continuity, just don't make Superman a character in it because sure. it does rob Supergirl of her specialness in a lot of ways. And mm. like if if he's not like if this isn't part of mainline continuity, maybe make her unique because like he's gonna be like oh. You have the exact same origin I do. That's weird. But like, maybe they'll, maybe they'll in the sequel, they'll like actually team up, which seems practical. Sure. If you're like have a godlike level of power, and you find another person who has a godlike level of power, just like work together and solve all the world's problems. I, totally, totally. I just think it'd be nice if like Supergirl was like got to be like the only one. Yeah, like she got to be like the main character in her story. Like she, in this, I, it feels like well, Superman is going to be more experienced and be like the the Superman of this world. Maybe he'll get promise, captured usually. and she'll have to save him. I'm uh -huh. yeah. I think that's that seems likely. I like the idea of because I like the uh, Kara in this book. I want her to have a, a solid connection with someone else from her home planet. Mm -hmm. I guess that's I, fair. I want you know someone for her to like learn from like to she can't talk to, to her parents anymore too she, she can't talk to tan on either because he's a he's a jerk yeah and mm -hmm. uh I, you know it would be nice for her to have someone uh she's got that green hair thing like come on man. like like you clearly dyed your hair <laughs> overnight to look cool sure that's not sure that's weird superman has those holograms of his parents and stuff and those are his connection to the to the his previous life but uh, it's much nicer to have like a human being, and like if she Kara's gonna have a a human being or or Kryptonian or or relative or whatnot, it might as well be Superman at that yeah, point. Yeah, it's like um, <laughs> it's it's not it's not it's not like if Luigi just had his own co video game and Mario <laughs> did not exist, I wouldn't I wouldn't go that far. Uh, but, Supergirl is uh, the Luigi of comics. Yeah. I just don't. Who's the and Tana is Waluigi then? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Bizarro is Wario, obviously. Bizarro is Wario. Yeah. Whoa. Um, and Jimmy Olsen is Toad. That uh, that all checks out. This is fun. Yeah. This is a fun game. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I like match em ups. <laughs> uh, and then I guess like Dolly is like one of those side characters in Paper Mario who like hates Luigi, kind of, because mm -hmm. that's the only friends Luigi ever gets. Yeah. Like, people who hate him. Oh. Mm -hmm. It sucks, but 
you know, that's Luigi. Wow. He's got a tough, he's got a tough lot in life. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad we we got to that. We're we're wrapping up here, but before we go, I do want to uh go over our panel picks. Uh, each week, we like to uh, each individual person picks out a moment or sequence that they thought was especially memorable. That was uh, maybe uh, spoke to them in a certain way. Maybe they thought it encapsulated their feelings about the book. Um, so, uh, Carolyn, what was your panel pick this week? My panel pick was uh, a scene that we've already talked about when Kara's going for a run, mm -hmm. and then she's just like you know working off so much frustration, mm -hmm. and then she dives or like jumps and a bunch of earth kind of comes up around her. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that was a really beautiful uh, capture moment of that feeling as a teen and as an adult, but, but as a teen when it's so intense and dramatic of just like that emotion and sense of hopelessness and powerlessness, even when she has all this power. Um, I just thought it was really, that really got me. It really got me. Good one. That's yeah. a good one. That is. Yeah. Those are the nice moments in this book because in regular superhero uh, comics, like you see their powers when they are fighting other people. Mm -hmm. They're using their powers for violence. They're not using their powers because emotions. They're using their powers because there's a bad guy. You got to punch right. him. You got to. You got to <laughs> zap him. It's not like getting out. It's not getting out grief. Oh man, yeah. it would be so hard to be like Cyclops and not have one of those moments where you're like thinking of something painful and not just blast lasers everywhere. <laughs> You just want to just be blasting lasers. That's why you got to wear the glasses all I, the yeah. time. I mean, if you stub I'd, your, I would. If, I'd want to blast the lasers. The first like, time I feel good. The first time I stub my toe as Cyclops, my house would be just gone. Yeah, I'd be just like. <laughs> <laughs> Gene. And, I, I just always think about Black Bolt. Just be like, you know. Yeah. You like the, the your Fuck. internet cuts out and you're like, oh god damn it! And then it's like the planet gets <laughs> yeah. split in half. Uh, you murder. You just everybody. get sniped in Overwatch. You're just like. <gasps> <laughs> so Black Bolt can't be a gamer. He couldn't handle it. No. Okay. Yeah, that's true. He, just he a would know stoic better. king. Would know yeah. Uh, Andrew, what was your panel pick? Uh, my panel pick was where Dolly is being dropped mm -hmm. by Tanan, and it looks like she might die. And Kara is racing to save her, like mm -hmm. flying out. She's having these flashbacks of Jen and failing to save her and then there's this like really wonderful big uh like whole page panel where she's grabbing dolly by the legs mm -hmm. and like <laughs> she's got her and it's like oh this huge moment of relief but the great part is dolly's like thought bubble or me she may she says this is i'm not going to die that is awesome and it's like <laughs> that's great that's so funny that like He's like, I'm not gonna die. That's awesome. She's a great. real. I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, she's a real Han Solo. Like she's always got some quip. Yeah. I thought for a second that that was gonna be like a Gwen Stacy moment, like and she neck. was gonna get snapped. Oof. I was thinking that too as Oof. well, and I'm glad. See, that didn't happen. Puss would have saved all of this. We wouldn't have to worry. All right. Lessons. Thank the you for having me. Um, <laughs> wait, wait. I still have to go with my panel pick. Tristan, as well. what was your panel pick? What was your panel pick? Um, it was uh, that moment we mentioned uh, earlier when she kind of jumps out of the barn, and she just kind of like flies off. And this, I think, this is earlier in the story. She is just like letting off steam. It's like going for a drive as a teen, mm -hmm. except for she's going for a fly, yeah. hanging out there. <laughs> and like I seen, I saw this this uh, really nice spread in uh, previews before, and uh, there's a little mark on her face in it. And I thought, oh, that's a that's a beauty mark. She's just so beautiful, and she has a little imperfection. But actually, the little mark in this splash page is that zit. Uh, which I always mm. thought was funny, kind of like uh, you don't know, kind of changed my perspective on this. She's still, she's uh, she's having a nice time. She's super. She's got a little little bit of problem, like right on her face. I did <laughs> want to see kind of like more. Of I know that it was gross. I know it was like <laughs> disgusting for you, uh, and and for like so many people to see like a a zit pus bubble splat all over the room. But I did want Kristen, to see. You've seen traffic numbers on zit content you know how good it is you know how people love it yeah i i did want to see like more uh more kryptonian puberty basically like how yes. does how does uh her how does like super puberty like differ from human puberty i guess right i guess you would sure. say like how do, how does that how does that change like she's got all these powers but like at what cost like, like if um, that's what her zits like what is her period like yeah Looks. it's just like the mess. shining elevator <laughs> I, it, it cry, it cry. <laughs> every month <laughs> <laughs> yeah no no exactly um i don't know if they can print that exact that that moment but uh something like it she needs some very powerful tampons 
Yes. Oh. Super, super powered. That like are connected to like the Phantom Zone or something. That was there, there you go. Oh. It would just like, <laughs> like, it would just, like every now and then Zod just sitting there and there's a bunch of period blood and something. Like, ah! <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> Well, that's um, what I think they'd have to do because, like, there's no amount of like actual tampons that could soak up, you know, okay. the shining. No, no, you're right. Wow. Um, what about her voice change? What would that be like? You think? Yeah, I don't know. Like, it'd be probably weird too. Your uh, voice, but that voice... doesn't really happen the same way for women. No, it's it's not your like voice, voice cracking. Change? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, no, she it doesn't... doesn't quite happen the same. I didn't talk to a lot of girls during puberty. But also, <laughs> women's voices don't fully mature until they're in their like uh late 40s early 50s oh is that hmm. true yeah interesting interesting that's okay. why so many famous female opera singers are like a little bit older than a lot of huh. other pop star oh. pop people yeah. we're learning things today we're learning things and speculating about how much period blood supergirl has uh-huh. i think you're right with the shining i think that's a good <laughs> that's a good metaphor uh-huh uh-huh Great. Uh, <laughs> well, that about uh, wraps up our time here today. Uh, what did you all think? Would you recommend this book, uh, Carolyn? Yes, highly recommend. Can't wait for the sequel. Definitely going to seek out all the other titles that these uh, artists have worked on. And it'll be, it's good stuff. <laughs> good. All right. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, what about you? Yeah, it's very good. Uh, there's more pus in this than any comic book I've ever read before, which is obviously oh, a plus. Uh, it's making me think of Bagel Bites now, and mm-hmm. what if Waluigi was Supergirl? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's also very good, and I want uh, the artist to dress me from now on. Mm-hmm. Well, What higher compliment could I pay? Sounds good. It's like... How uh, do you, what, do you, what do you think, Tristan? I found it like a very uh, a, a very nice, uh, like kind of young adult graphic novel, almost. Mm-hmm. Um, there are not many uh superhero comics aimed at uh teenage girls basically yeah. um and 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 much less like like made by women like the, the whole creative team i think is almost all women i think and then it really i think that really shows in the book itself which you know treats women like human beings and who have friends outside of and talk <laughs> about things outside of book. yeah it is it is unfortunately uh too all too rare I think and like if I if I had a a daughter uh like a preteen or whatnot I think I uh, you know and they did not already resent me I would say hey maybe you should read this I have a daughter she is not a teen she's preteen okay but she does she's not good at reading things yet. okay she also like tries to eat most things so okay you have like a toddler yeah so you're not gonna give your toddler this I'm gonna book. wait uh until she's not eating everything okay. and uh knows how to read i think we okay. recommend this book for reading not chewing on yeah. perfect yeah all right well thank you so much for joining us uh andrew and carolyn thank you uh at home for joining us as well uh tune in next week we'll be reading a uh, black bolt yeah that's a, that'll be a fun one i think that'll be uh volumes one and two of the most recent uh series critically acclaimed um, really looking forward to diving into the Inhumans, which Marvel uh, yeah. might never actually do anything with now that they have it the was, X-Men. It, well, it was never a TV show, so don't pretend like it was. Okay. Uh, and also there's an ongoing Death of the Inhumans storyline. Sure. So mm-hmm. Not looking good. Not, don't not make it into great. a movie. Don't ruin it. Just leave it. I mean, they kind of did ruin it a little already. So yeah, they're just that TV the, show. Yeah, that, that didn't exist. We don't need to talk about it. All right. Uh, Sounds good. Let's stop talking right now. Hey, let's do it. Don't All forget right. to vote for mayor and comptroller. Bodega Cat. Bo- Bodega Bo- Cat and Bagel Bites. And with that, uh, we will see you all in the funny papers. Hey, everyone. Uh, you can watch the new episode of Black Bolt, where we talk about all about that comic one week early over at dropout.tv. Uh, you can also see other shows from Dorkly a week early, including Today in Nerd History and Table Pop. Yeah! Go to dropout.tv for a free week trial. You can watch some other amazing shows like Um Actually, Total Forgiveness, What the F 101. They're all great. You're going to love them.